Okay, so first of all, I am going to type in M round, and this will round to the nearest multiple. So we put the number in that we want to round, and then the multiple that we want to round to. And I want to round to the nearest hour, so I am going to put quotation mark, one, colon, zero, zero, quotation mark, and then close brackets and enter. And this will round to the nearest hour. Now there are a couple of other options for this. So instead, I can put time in here, and then inside of this, put in one hour and zero minutes and zero seconds, and then enter. And this will also round to the nearest hour, and we get these same results. Then we can also change this to one divided by 24. Because in Excel, one day is equal to the number one and there are 24 hours in a day. So one divided by 24 will also get you to the hour. And we end up with the same results again. Then if we want to round down, we can use the floor formula because the floor is below us. So that is what we use when we round down. And there are two different options for this. There is an older version, which is just called floor, and then a newer version, which is called floor.math. They both work the same way for positive numbers, so it doesn't matter which one we use. And with this, we put in the number that we want to round, and then the significance. And we can think of the significance as the same as the multiple in the M round formula. So I am going to put one colon zero zero inside quotation marks here in order to round down to the nearest hour. And then if we want to round up, we can use the ceiling formula because the ceiling is above us. So that is what we use when we want to round up. And again, there are two different options and it doesn't matter which one you use. If you choose the dot math, you end up with an extra option called mode, but we can just ignore this. So first of all, we put in the number and then we put in the significance. And I will again put in one colon zero zero inside quotation marks. And then with this formula, it will round up to the nearest hour. Now with the floor and ceiling formulas, you have the same options as you do with the M round formula. So we can change this here if we want to time. And then inside this put one hour and zero minutes and zero seconds. And then we will get the same results. And in this formula, we can change this to one divided by 24. And we will also get these same results here. Now, if you want to round to the nearest minute, we can change this here to zero colon zero one inside quotation marks. And this will round to the nearest minute. We can also change this to one divided by 24 divided by 60. Because in Excel, one day is equal to the number one, and then there are 24 hours in a day and 60 minutes in an hour. So one divided by 24 divided by 60 will get you to the nearest minute. And we get these same results again. If you want to round to the nearest 15 minutes, then we change the number at the beginning here to 15. And now we are rounding to the nearest 15 minutes. And the floor and ceiling formulas work in the same way. So if I want to round here to the nearest 15 minutes, then I change this to zero and this to 15 minutes. And then we are rounding down to the nearest 15 minutes. And in this formula here, I can change this to zero colon 15 inside quotation marks. And then this rounds up to the nearest 15 minutes. 
Now, if we want to round to the nearest 10 seconds, then we can change this here to 0 colon 0 colon 10 inside quotation marks. So now this is the hours and this is the minutes and this is the seconds. And this formula will round to the nearest 10 seconds. And if we want to round to the nearest day, then we can change all of this to the number 1. And then this will round to the nearest day. So it takes you to midnight. OK, so in this video, I have shown you how to round times in Excel. And that is everything.